What's up guys, Nolan here. In today's video's main subject is complete tinfoil hat speculation that I want to put out there and get discussed in the community ahead of a super important Tarkov TV coming this Tuesday. In case you guys didn't know, there will be a Tarkov TV this Tuesday and only when BSG have something super important to talk about do they do one of these. When you think about it, Arena should be coming pretty much any day now and the wipe is four to six weeks away. So in case you didn't know, again, Arena is going to release before the next wipe. So if the wipe is going to be four to six weeks away, then that means you know, we've got Arena coming in the next, I mean, any day now, two, four weeks away. So they very well could have this Tarkov TV on Tuesday and say Arena is ready or Arena in a couple weeks or whatever, along with talking about a bunch of other stuff that they're working on, I'm sure, for the wipe coming in, in December. So we will for sure be hearing about at least Arena and the stuff BSG are working on, like hopefully Uni21 and the netcode changes coming in patch 14 in December, but we'll wait and see. As always, expect to see a summary video of Tarkov TV once it's complete, and I'll be live tweeting whatever pops up during the Tarkov TV itself. Now, as of today's main subject, we have to start with a DM from Qtiv here on Discord. Qtiv wanted to know if the countdown on the website for EOD meant that that's when they were going to remove EOD as a purchase. I thought that it would be weird for BSG to do that and not be super clear about it, since you know that would be something that would drive up sales significantly for Edge of Darkness. But then again, BSG do strange things sometimes, so I DM them and uh, guess what? Edge of Darkness will no longer be available for purchase after that timer goes out. Qtiv was right. And to be clear as possible here, Edge of Darkness will no longer be available to purchase after this date, but it will still be active in game for those who've purchased it before the timer runs out. So they are not removing Edge of Darkness in the game. They are just removing the ability to purchase it because they wanted it limited access. That's the reason why it was called limited access. Now here's the first bit of speculation. I think that the timer is a lie. I think the timer is pointing to when the next wipe will drop. And if I'm right that it is a lie, the timer will just point to the last day of the year because BSG just said that's when the next wipe is going to be. It's going to be before the end of the year and not point to a singular day so that we are preparing for that day. And then if they end up delaying it, then nobody knows they end up delaying it. So what they'll do is they'll just change the timer to reflect the actual day that they're going to wipe the game once they actually announced when the wipe will be like they did last wipe and the wipe before. Actually, last wipe was the only wipe that they did the timer thing because that was when they were when they did the uh, the price increase for Edge of Darkness because it was going to include Arena. But there was still like 16 days or something like that left on the timer. And then they removed or they moved it to two days the timer went out and then it, there wasn't a timer for like two days and then they ended up wiping the game so yeah the timer i'm thinking is a lie now here is the second bit of speculation which makes a bit more sense but definitely opens a rabbit hole here so stick with me if the timer is not a lie and it does actually cut off edge of darkness to purchase on the last day of this year then i think that this may be the most important single piece of news that we've ever gotten because again if that timer is true and if they do remove edge of darkness before for 2024, then I think that means BSG are going to release the game next year. Full release. Now stick with me here. The Edge of Darkness edition of the game has always been marked as limited access, with the limit just being that you wouldn't be able to purchase it after full release. So BSG have always said they will remove it before full release. For the last several months now, BSG have been using the release word in practically every major discussion that they've had while cutting maps and features for quote unquote time, leading me to be speculating for at least the last several months now that I bet that there was a whiteboard somewhere in the BSG studio that had a big circle around 2024 or just release before 2025. Anybody that's caught my recent streams will know that we've talked about this several times. I think I brought it up a couple times during our Good Morning Tarkov sessions that we were doing a couple weeks ago. I don't think I made it a subject of a major video because I wanted something a bit more solid to happen first and this was that thing that happened a bit more solid for me to want to make it a subject of a main video, so here we are. Now, whether or not they will complete this on their schedule is still in question for sure, but here's the deal. Since BSG are removing EO next month i think it's because they at least think that they will be able to release before 2025 let me know what you think and again to be clear here the truth of this is that edge of darkness will no longer be available to purchase after that timer runs out so if you are waiting to update now is the time or at least sometime between now and whenever that timer ends that's it the rest i'm sure we'll hear a bit about on tuesday during that tarkov tv and or speculation now this will be a very important tarkov tv on tuesday so again be here for the summary right after that has finished on tuesday until then you know the drill guys like if you did stuff for more comment you think and check out my other channels for other games right here including star citizen do the same stuff over there just star citizen instead of tarkov in case you're interested otherwise thank you very much for watching i hope you have a nice day see you guys